Ooh, Nuit Blanc. Quite fancy. Similar motif for like the angels and stuff. Didn't realize there was a club like this tucked away back here. Hmm. If in this part of town, this club is pretty damn tasteless. The club I host at isn't far from here, actually. Come to think it, this place used to entertain a bunch of politicians, but we've got a ton of foreign guests lately. Yeah, how about that? Got a reservation for you guys today, though, so make yourselves at home. Don't just stand there. Come on in. Hey. That girl is a wildfire. Thanks for looking after her, Gareth. Ah, yeah, but of course. It's feeling very Yakuza at the moment. Is she eating an ice cream or a crepe? I think it's ice cream. Uncle, what the hell's the big idea? You called me out last time I saw you, but haven't said a word to me in two weeks. Well, we've got our hands full. We have a little bit of everything lately. I see you brought friends with you. You have never done something like that two years ago. Don't look at me. The leader here has got a knack for doing things by the book. Nice to meet you. Crossbow Police Department, Special Support Section, Lloyd Bannings. Where's the Hemisphere? Likewise. Representative of Crimson & Co, Sigmund Orlando. Sorry for the hard time. To make it up to you, feel free to sit down and have a drink or two. I'll take you up on that offer. Are you referring to us coming all this way, or what you pulled back at the deserted mine? <laughs> I wonder. Are you guys hungry? I can have them bring you some grub, too. Oh, I want another parfait. Oh, there we go. She has one as well. Alright. Time to get the foreplay out of the way. You can ask me any burning questions you have. I'm sure there's a very specific... One you have, don't you? Yes. I want to save us the trouble of having to dance around it. To be blunt, the CPD has taken notice of your actions. We need to know why you've come to Crossbell. Huh. Straight to the point. We've got a few reasons. But our primary reason is that we've entered a contract. And that would be with the Imperial Government? <laughs> no comment. Client confidentiality is key in our line of work. Have it your way. In that case, mind telling us what your relationship with Erebonia's Captain Arundel is? He helped you purchase the old Revarch compound, didn't he? That joker? It takes an interesting man to end up in the back pocket of the Blood and Iron Chancellor. It reminds me a lot of Tsao. Those two would get along. What? So you and Four Eyes got a history too, don't you? We got acquainted when we were raiding their turf last year. All in all, it was an easy job, but their guys did a good job of standing their ground. <laughs> Didn't expect to run into them again in Crossbell of all places. Yeah, but... I get to meet that Yin guy everyone blabs about over there. Apparently he was on another job, so we just barely missed each other. Though it sounds like he's hanging out in Crossbell these days, too. Can't say we've heard anything about him since, Re since Revarch got taken down. Don't change the subject. Just about your relationship with that Lecter dude. <laughs> uh, afraid I'm gonna have to say no comment again. Read into that what you will. So it's, it's fine, Randy. By the way, if you don't mind me asking, how much is this contract of yours worth exactly? Oh, <laughs> Detective Boy sure knows how to get to the heart of the matter. With a reaction like that, it must be worth a pretty mirror. Guessing somewhere around 100 million. No comment. I'm not at liberty to say. No one officially, let's just say you're not too far off the mark. A hundred million mirror contract. Talk about a fortune. Blood money is more like it. That's all the info you're getting for free. Shall we get down to business now? Like I told you, Randolph. Vacation time is over. It's time for you to become the next war god. Wasn't Walkout your late father's title? Cut the shit. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go along with that. You drunk out of your goddamn mind right now. It's simple, really. The leader of the Red Constellation is the War God. And as his only son, your duty is to succeed him. Why me? You're so desperate for a War God, then why don't you do it? Maybe Shirley could do it. There's no reason it can't be a woman. At the end of the day, an ogre is all I am. My job is to run wild on the battlefield. Can't be like my brother, nor do I want to be. Same goes for her, maybe even more. Yeah, I'm not cut out for this whole war god business. Ugh. Sure, you understand, Randolph. Why my brother wanted to settle the score with a long-time rival. My brother gave you a trial once. And you passed it with flying colors. Showing you... Can easily succeed him as the next war god. I think you know better than anyone that you're the only one fit for it. Try to become the next war god. <laughs> Dolphy's lost his edge these days. But he used to be a total badass. Especially when he took out some of the Zephyr by using that but Shut your mouth. And beg you not another word. Randy? Kill Joy. What the hell happened to you? Once upon a time, I looked up to the old Dolphy, you know. Well, let's leave it at this. We're going home, Shirley. If you say so. I'm gonna get another parfait on the way out. その姿、兄貴が見たらどう思うかよく考えてみろ。それ以上無様を晒す前に従うか逃げるか抗うか決めるがいい。さもなくば死ね。<laughs> Damn it. At least we didn't bring the girls with us. Don't want to embarrass myself in front of them like this. Randy. Sorry, guys. Didn't want you to see me like this. It doesn't matter. None of this is your fault. They're the ones that are in the wrong. <laughs> Still seeing you all beaten up. You're right on the money. Was he? <laughs> You're right. You were right all along, and they hit me where it hurts. Hey, like Randy, you okay? Someone give him a hug. Afterward, Lloyd and the others refused the car the manager had prepared and walked back home. They met with the girls and Sergei, who were all worried for them. After putting a half asleep Kia to bed, Lloyd and the team gave their report. This can't be happening. They seem absolutely terrifying. No, your succession of the war god for now. Sounds like you gained plenty of intel. Yeah. They're banking something to the tune of 100 million mirror on this new contract. Judging by what's going on right now, it's a safe bet their employers are the imperial government. He also said they'd be busy as of tomorrow. That can only mean they're plotting something for the trade conference. Mm, I think you have an idea of the purpose of their contract. What about you, Lloyd? Well, let me think. Hmm. What's the purpose of the Red Constellation's 100 million mira contract? Well, it's not going to be assassinate the Republican president. It's not going to be wipe out here, anyway, so... There we go. This is just a hunch, but... I've heard the Blood of Nine Chancellor has a lot of opposition in the Empire. I think they'll be protecting the Chancellor while he's in Crossbell. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh, good observation, Lloyd. But isn't 100 million mirror ever paying for something that simple? Besides, surely the Chancellor is bringing his own guards, too. Good point. With Erebony and Cavaldor bringing several guards and escorts with them, naturally, they'd be acting independently of the official guards. If you pay attention to their actions, it's clear they're trying to get a feel for the location. I see that lines up. There have been sightings at America Village, Mines, and Belgard Gate. 
On the surface, all they seemed to be doing was stocking up on food supplies and septium. Yeah, but I don't think that's why they were visiting all the different regions. They were likely testing us and the braces to get a sense of our ability to canvas the state in the case of an emergency. I also got that impression. And it's all speculation at this point. Dignitaries from all over the continent are coming tomorrow from Orcus Towers on Veiling. Oh, and on that note, I'll be sending you guys there too. Good. Come again? By there, do you mean the unveiling? You've had your hands full with the Red Constellation today. You're the SSS, not a counter espionage and anti terrorism squad. It's time you had a change of pace and a better feel for the situation. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> kind of stings to hear that. Does that mean we'll be a part of the security for the unveiling? On paper, yes, but I want you to focus on observing the unveiling ceremony itself. Get a feel for the atmosphere. You know, check out how the dignitaries carry themselves. And that should give you a different perspective on things. Understood. Lucky us. You're going to have front row seats for this spectacle. You're still up. Hey! <laughs> Somewhere in the Imperial Capital, okay. We depart early tomorrow morning. Shouldn't you be resting? Ah, right. I thought it best to read over these reports while I have the chance. From the Military Academy. Never expected you to take your duties there so seriously. I am the Chairman of the Board of Directors, even if it's in name only. The students are doing their best. It's only right that I give them mine as well. Hm. So be it. That aside, I managed to dig up some new info about the matter we were looking into. Duke Cayenne's attack dogs are beginning to make their moves again. Yes, because he would have just been in Le Grand, wouldn't he? Then take the Duke for being such a troublemaker. Even on foreign soil, hmm? Do you know the scope of their plans? No, not yet. The Intelligence Division has fully uncovered it themselves. <laughs> Our friend the Chancellor certainly reaps what he sows. This does not bode well for him, does it? Then again, I'm not out of the woods either, am I? Maybe they'll find it in their hearts to target me as well. This is no laughing matter, you fool. Would it be wise to request more support from the 7th Armored Division? Too late to put in the call, you know. I'm afraid I'll have to decline. The Chancellor's safety aside, if I were to do that and appear... There with a full escort in tow. It ruined my precious public image. Also... I have you, my love. I can't think of anywhere in the world I'd be safer than in your loving arms. I'm going to bed. Sorry, please don't go yet. Pillow talk aside, I am looking forward to speaking with the Crown Princess tomorrow. Hey! <laughs> have all the arrangements been made? Yes, I spoke with the senior captain earlier. We're scheduled to meet after the lunch tomorrow, in the early evening. Good, good. Not to believe it's been almost a year. <laughs> and I wish Estelle and the others were coming so that we could make it a proper reunion. Shara has been busy with work as well, and can't make the time for a trip. Right. Nevertheless, I'll do what I can to enjoy Zemiria's most modern urban city in their stead. And worry not, I have no intention of getting in the way of your long-awaited rendezvous with the senior captain. Why, if you'd like, you could even set some time aside for a lovely theme park date. Stay out of it, idiot. Actually, your idiocy is going beyond your usual bounds tonight. If you're not getting any ideas of creating more work for me tomorrow, am I clear? Crap. I, I, I mean, no, 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 not at all, love. At this rate, I'm going to have to put a leash around his neck tomorrow. Well, all things considered, this will likely be my last foreign trip for a while. We'll have our work cut out for us. We're going to need to find out what the Chancellor is planning. Keep an eye on developments around the continent. I've known I've caused you nothing but headaches lately, but I hope you know I'm counting on you, my dearest friend. Naturally. Hey, it's good to see him. Well, both of them. Oh, there it is. The Arsay. 
Hey! It's good to see you. What a nice breeze. Judging by the direction of the clouds, I wonder if we're in for clear skies over there. Big smile, big smile. Scree. All right, scree, scree, scree. <laughs> Thank you as always, old friend. I was like, that's not his name. It's like, oh yeah, because they're not saying the names of the Marley at the moment. I was like, what? Just as I feared, why is it beginning to smolder in the Republic as well? It's also Hayway in the intervention of the Constance leading Jaeger Corps in Crossbell. Could they truly be under the Blood and Iron Chancellor's contract? Screen? <laughs> it's nothing. We'll be flying northeast tomorrow. Will you be joining us on board? Even you may have trouble following us in a, to a foreign territory like this. <laughs> Scree! So, this is where you are, your highness. Yes, I wanted to enjoy the breeze a little while. I'm tad nervous about tomorrow and the trade conference. That's surprising to hear. Hello, Sieg. Back from your scouting mission? Scree, scree. Yeah. I received a report from RNA Research. Oh! From Richard. I was wondering if that was going to get mentioned at any point. I was thinking about that earlier when they were talking about, um... Both intelligence divisions from, like, um... Calvert and Erebonia. I saw, just thought to myself, like, what about Richard's little thing that he was doing? I was like, oh, there we go. Please let me have a look. Details on the movements of the Republican government and radical nationalists inside Calvert. Seems every region in the western half of this continent is undergoing some kind of turmoil. Yeah. Very strange. Yes, I have to agree. I'll have to consult the prince over this as well. Perhaps now would be a good time to make use of a specially recommended connection. Connection, your highness? That's right. I want to see for myself just how reliable they are. They may be the exact allies we need while we're there. I see. The ones that Estelle and Joshua told us about. Don't see the harm in seeking assistance in addition to the guilds. I agree. Two years have passed since the signing of the Non-Aggression Pact that Grandmother proposed. The Pact allowed us to avoid war but gave rise to other unforeseen pressures that have strained the continent. The time has come. In the next two days, we have no choice but to seek the framework that will replace the Non-Aggression Pact. I'm sure it will go well. I'm so excited for the trade conference. <laughs> Indeed. Smile instantly dropped. The Epstein Foundation Systems Engineering Prodigy. Jonah Sacred, huh? It's like you constructed such a complex environment despite relying on this ancient network type. Because it really wasn't a fluke you were able to catch her in then. You should be quite proud of yourself. Ancient. That's that's significant for me there. Ancient. Astral code installation complete. Time to get to work. And with that, I have access to the phase space. Time to start scouring the orbital network. Securing entry from multiple routes. First, second, and third security clearance is bypassed. All that's left is cracking the logic key and done. You're all mine, main terminal. Now I see why the professor is so proud of this code. That's enough fun for now, though. I got info to dig up. Oops, was that my bad? <laughs> Not bad, Freckles. I wonder, though, you won't notice my trick until tomorrow, right? If that's the case, I might as well... 
have some more fun while I can. Oh, a lovely little rest. The name of the game, everyone. But of course it would slow down time for Toa. There's Toa. There's Prince Oliver. Hey! Just think, think how, like this, that's slow motion. Think how fast he just turned his head. Would have snapped his neck. Late August, on 204 of the Septine calendar. 30th, it'll be the 30th. The West Numeria Trade Conference, proposed by the newly elected Mayor of Crossbell and CEO of the IBC, was about to begin. Representing the Western major power, the Edibonian Empire and the Blood and Iron Chancellor, Gilly of Osborne, and a man of culture, Prince Oliver. <laughs> Made me giggle. From the major power to the east, the Calvin Republic, President Samuel Rocksmith, who has gained the support of the masses. The young ruler of the Principality of Remifania to the north, Prince Albert. And finally, from the Burled Kingdom to the southwest, Crown Princess Claudia in lieu of Queen Alicia II. Some of the most prominent dignitaries across the continent have gathered in Crossbell for this moment. The time has come. There's Haas still selling his balloons. It's good to see. There he is! Shin. Does he not appear there if you don't do that quest? And don't speak to Kia. Now we definitely know the timing. need some ointment for my neck at some point. Toa said she would remain on board as she has preparations to take care of. Ah, very well. That's all you're mentioning? Alright. God, I've been looking forward to this moment for so long. That, that, that feels so strange. Again, I'd be intrigued to see in future someone who knows the Calvert stuff, seeing this moment. Because I've, I've got it from three different aspects ahead of time, as opposed to two if you played it in the release order. It's just very intriguing.
I mean, you never know, there may be a Remiferia game in the future. That's part of the main canon, you know. Lineup. Truly, we're looking at some of the most powerful individuals on the continent. Saying I didn't realize the Blood and Iron Chancellor was such a beast. Not just in rep, but physically too. Huh. President Rocksmith, on the other hand, looks like he's down one too many of the Eastern Quarter's famous onion hot pots. The Bell's Princess Claudia is so gorgeous. Look at Senior Captain Schwarz in the flesh. To our esteemed dictatories, allow me to officially welcome you to Crossbell State. I am the mayor of Crossbell City, Dieter Croy. Thank you all for coming here today and agreeing to participate in the West Sumeria Trade Conference. This would be when I officially announce the opening of the conference itself. Well, before we get to that, we must first commemorate this auspicious day. This is something I wish to show to you. Behind me stands Crossbell City's new City Hall, a modern landmark that symbolizes Crossbell's commitment to both trade and finance. Above all else, it is a place of international exchange for the sake of peace throughout the entire continent. Just with great pride, I unveil to you the continent's first true skyscraper, Orcus Tower. the mechanism for the curtain. It is damn impressive a building, though. This is what Orcus Tower looks like? I had read about the design, but words couldn't possibly do it justice. I it's unbelievable. i overwhelmed just looking at it. Holy grand moly. Which mirror did they drop on this thing? <laughs> More than mere mortals like us will ever see in our lifetimes combined. My goodness, I'm not sure what to say. This is where technological progress leads you. It takes me back to when we were on the LeBurl Arc. That's what I was thinking! Creepy? Yes, though it's not quite as tall as the Axis Pillar was. <laughs> splendid, splendid! I read over the details in your report, but I still can't believe my eyes. Yes, the real thing has far exceeded my expectations. The IBC's capital is as impressive as ever. <laughs> Undoubtedly impressive. They went to such great lengths to erect a monument to a state that could be swept away at a moment's notice. Dang, I wouldn't mind checking out the view from the roof. 
Think the mayor would let me up there if I asked nicely? Now then, let us proceed. To our dignified guests and all those gathered here today, I hereby declare the opening of the West Sumerian Trade Conference. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. <laughs> Magnificent is the word I choose. Seeing it makes me all the more glad that we chose to come to Crossbell. <laughs> How auspicious. However, I've seen enough. And there's an infestation to tend to. I trust you to take care of that. Are we still on for tomorrow? Your help would be greatly appreciated. It would provide so much more peace of mind to have you there. <laughs> have it your way. <sighs> Elusive as ever. Though I could do about the attitude. Come now, I wouldn't call it disrespectful. There are simply restrictions about when he will and won't cooperate with us. Once you have those figured out, getting him to help is simple. Is that so? What restrictions could an assassin have? <laughs> That's a secret. Nevertheless, everything has gone according to plan thus far. Let's make sure it stays that way tomorrow. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm not saying it wouldn't be, but maybe keep that urgent check. The time might just come in handy for us later. Lame. But whatever, I'm going to check out the city, okay? Everyone's all excited because of that building. Knock yourself out. How typical of the young miss. Doesn't she seem a little too jazzed about that building? Maybe so. But more than that, she's intoxicated by the bloodshed that is going to follow. So she is. Sounds more like the young miss. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. She'll be able to get her fill tomorrow. I'm worried about what her fill is. <laughs> Blue Blanc would have marveled at such a beautiful sight if he were here. On the other hand, it didn't shock me to learn he came to see it un uninvited anyway. Yeah. Oh, what's this? <laughs> All that's left is to make sure these fall into the right hands. Better yet, I can make some fun plans while I'm still here. Incredible. They managed to build this thanks to the IBC, right? It's even nicer than I could have ever dreamed. I was new Mayor Croy could pull it off. That's so freaking cool! Henry, you're totally gonna explore it. Come on, let's go. Uh, don't get angry for us if we go places we aren't supposed to go again. Still, I understand how you feel. Amazing. Indeed. This is one incredible building. You would never see something like this in Calvert. I understand why our men here hold this city in such high regard. <laughs> Everyone seems so excited. Look here, is the building really that large? Here? He's still there? Oh, sorry, Shizuku. Um, yeah, it's totally huge. It's a pretty blue and white color. It's super sleek and cool. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Hmm. In this timeline, sure. You know? I know exactly how you feel. Now everything's back to normal for the rounds and stuff. Assuming we get to do the rounds, we will be doing the cutting method. Bouncing around trying to find some scenes and stuff. 
like the extreme cutting method, not the just cutting out the travel. So the trade conference's main session will be tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, they'll be holding informal talks at luncheon today. They'll meet for dinner in the evening, followed by watching Ark and Seal perform. Oh, and all of the dignitaries will be staying at the guest house at Michelin. You're referring to the former Speaker Hartman's old mansion, right? Oh, so that's what they're using that enormous mansion for now. Well, Hartman's fines for his corruption and legal dealings were pretty exorbitant. It was confiscated as compensation, so now they use it as a guest house. I suppose he got what he deserved. Am I correct in assuming Michelin is going to be closed to the public? Yeah, both the theme park and Michelin Center are getting shut down. The CGF will be stationed there, so you don't need to worry. Understood. We'll continue focusing on our support requests. Do what you gotta do. Some of the invitees will be touring Crossbell after lunch. You never know what problems may arise. Be ready to help out at a moment's notice. We'll keep that in mind. Anyway, all of our attendees sure are something special. Especially that blood and iron chancellor. There's something up with that guy. Yeah, initially I only had eyes for Lecter. What? I only had my eyes on Lecter. But the Chancellor's presence was completely overwhelming. Calvert's President Rocksmith seemed a little on the friendlier side, though. It's hard not to notice Killica standing right next to him. She works for the Rocksmith Agency, secret Calvardian intelligence network. The President is known to be a populist. I don't think we can take him lightly. The Bell's Princess Claudia oozed dignity, though. A guard, senior Captain Schwarz, was just as cool as ever, too. That woman is the captain of the Royal Guard, if I remember correctly. Her status and looks created some rather passionate fans. Yeah, I suppose they have. <laughs> no need to be embarrassed, I'm a fan of hers too. Are you now? Oh, the oval phone. What do we have here? You swing that way, Mademoiselle? I'm not sure how you drew that conclusion. However, back when I visited Le Burl, I had the pleasure of seeing a parade of the Royal Guard. They even sold a photo album of it, so I ended up buying one. I see. You have to show me it later, please. <laughs> You're okay, I will. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, women in uniform have a certain charm of their own. I'm personally more interested in the Imperial family's Prince Oliver, though. I feel like I've been hearing Prince Oliver's name more and more these days. I suit him becoming famous after having a major role in solving the Bell's incident. And after that, he went to all kinds of... Events which bolstered his popularity. I recall correctly, he doesn't hold the right of succession to the Imperial throne, however. Huh. Really? Wait, he was involved in solving the Burl incident? Does that mean he's friends with Estelle and Joshua? You might be right. Those two seem pretty damn popular, so I wouldn't rule it out. Tadaima! Yay. Welcome back here. You too, Zite. Oof. Oh. Weren't you playing with Shizuka? Where is she? Yeah, but she went back to the hospital with her dad. Got to see the building of everything together, though. It was so awesome. You guys got to see it up close, right? Yeah, but the thing was so huge, I'm not sure I actually got a good look. On things are certain, it's a hell of a building. Bet you got a full view of it, Kia. Yeah, it was super awesome. I think it's, uh, fireworks? Uh, it was really pretty, too. Oh, but... Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, it, it's nothing. I haven't even getting for the work soon. Yeah, we'll be out until after dark. How about you, Chief? I'll be here on standby for the day. Just focus on your own work. I'll contact you if anything pops up. I'll take you up on that offer. Thanks. Let's depart after we check the terminal. Alright, so let's actually end this part here, and in the next part we'll check the terminal, do the rounds, like, mini rounds, you know how it is. And then we'll see about progressing the story, depending on what we got in terms of support requests. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now!